everyone. What a day. I'm keeping the air conditioner on because I just filmed another video for like two hours and I did not have the air conditioning on and my body said no. Like I said, today is a day that I am, did I say it? It's a day that I'm staying inside. Um, so I filmed a video about flight anxiety um, that I hope is helpful. I don't know which video will come out first, but I filmed that. And then also this morning, I finally used my vacuum bags um, and there's a huge portion of storage in our new bed. And so I took all of our winter clothes and stuff like that, um, our extra sheets and comforter and stuff, and it's all in our bed. That just freed up so much space in our closet and everything, so Really happy about that. But now, now that I have you here, we are going to attempt something that has not been attempted before. I have made bread, I have made cake, I have made frittatas in my rice cooker. But today, I'm going to try to make scones or scun in my air fryer. I made cookies once in my air fryer and they tasted good, but they were ugly. So I'm not sure how the scones are gonna play out, but Welcome, that's what we're, that's what's on the agenda for today. Um, I got this recipe from effortlessfoodie.com. Let's begin. Also, just hi, hello. Hope that summer has been treating you well. Focus, there you go, here's our butter. I feel like this is not enough. Scones are always so dry, so maybe this is right. Ah, uh, I think I just need a little bit more butter. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> also, Kurt and I are planning, um, we already have our tickets and everything. We're going back to the States um, for a visit in autumn. And um, we might, probably, will be going to Boston. Um, so if you guys have some recommendations, I have family in Boston, so like we know the city. Like we've been there, we've done the touristy things. That's where my grandma's from. Shout out to anybody in Braintree. But um, if you have like cool recommendations for eateries or bookstores or cafes or like little local haunts, um, I'd really appreciate it. One day, not in the near future, but one day we are eventually going to move back to the States. And so every time we go back to the States, I try and introduce Kurt to a new city so that he can like get a feel for what he could be interested in. And I really like Boston. So if this trip goes well, like we want to try and convince Kurt, right? We want New York and we want Boston um, to be on the top of his list. So if you have any spots that you think would appeal to myself or to Kurt, help me convince him that the East Coast is the way to go. Sorry, California. It just makes, it just makes so much more sense for us to live on the East Coast with my family and the public transportation that's out there versus what's um, available in California. Let me know if any Bostonians are watching. And now I can't scroll on the computer. Hold on, I need to go get a go get a towel. My Grammy is up in heaven, shaking her head at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grammy. Two. Oh, it's only two tablespoons of sugar. Oh, okay, maybe this is making more sense. Now I have to go heat the milk. This is 200 milliliters. So half is 100. A little bit less than half is 85. Who said baking's a science? Pa. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Full transparency. The first bit of milk that I tried to heat up curdled. So we're off to a really good start. Why is it so bright? Oh my God, it was supposed to be a cloudy day today. Ah, bring the dough together with your hands. The dough will be quite sticky. Lightly flour your work surface, then shape the scone dough using a cookie cutter, which we of course don't have. Here we go. Yeah, this feels right. Oh, okay, this feels right. That smells like butter. I think I used enough butter. No cookie cutter, but I'm going to try and use this cup. Here I go. Here, do you want to see? One, two. Well, these are my first four. Oh my God. I'm going to put them in. Okay. And as we're waiting for those, it's seven to eight minutes for the first batch. I'm going to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace as always. Um, Squarespace. 
What is it? It's a wonderful place to host your online presence. You can check out my blog. It is carriecakes.net. I've been using Squarespace for over four years, closer to five or six years. I use it for a personal blog because it has great free templates that I can make my blog look really nice in just a couple of clicks and I am not very good with technology. Um, you can connect your social media accounts. They have a ton of analytics that help you know who's looking at your website, what they're searching for, etc. But if you're looking at starting an online shop, they have monetization features. If you want an online community, they have email campaign um, and membership level features as well. But if you want to try it out right now for yourself for free, you can go to squarespace.com and and fully build your website and see how it looks. When you're ready to launch it, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes and get 10% off of your first website or domain. Um, as always, thank you to Squarespace. Really, I really enjoy them as someone who is very intimidated by technology. They're a wonderful service. All that information will be in the description box. And as always, my website is linked down there too. So I'm going to do all of these dishes and hopefully by that time, we will maybe see a result. Oh my god, they look beautiful! Do you see them? I'm gonna go let them sit for a second and my phone is- my camera's about to die, but... <laughs> Next batch in! Hello, they are done. I made nine? They all look pretty good, they look a little dry. I didn't have enough milk left to coat the top which is what you're supposed to do oh i'm talking into this mic yeah i didn't like coat the top so they would get a little bit more golden on top so come on down so these are our two prettiest ones i picked as our representatives like that just rip one open for you wow wow this took me like no time to make granted i haven't tasted them yet so Hold our horses. I splurged, these were a dollar. <laughs> Worth it, I love, I love this jam. Um, this is apricot, raspberry, and blueberry. Also, Kurt definitely stole this from Asiana Airlines. <laughs> Do this one. Blue. I don't care if they mix, guys, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yes, I put a lot of jam on my scones. I'm going to try one. I will try the blueberry one first. It tastes like a scone. It tastes like a scone. I definitely did add like a tiny bit too much butter because I can really taste the butter. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like scones that were made with Bisquick or what's the pancake mix. Mm. I'm so shocked this took me no time to make these scones. It's 100% Bisquick. I can't believe I just recreated. I'm so happy and they're not dry either. That might've been me because I added extra butter. <laughs> Whoa, I was expecting this to kind of be a fail. I'm not gonna lie to you. I went into this with a really negative negative mindset. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish eating this um, and I'm gonna go back to reading my book and just kind of have a really chill day. I'm meeting up with Alex tomorrow to do some cafe hopping in Mangwon. So yeah, I don't know if I'll, how much more I'll say today, but I'll see you tomorrow. What a success. The recipe will be linked down below. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> Reporting in from my house. Um, I'm going to be taking the rest of the day off. My body um, is just not at 100% and I'm gonna lay on the couch and finish reading Yellow Face. If you're part of the kind of book world, um, you have probably heard of it, but if not, Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. Um, so far, highly recommend. It is about um, 
Ooh. It's about a white American woman who takes the first draft written by her friend who is a Chinese American woman um, who has recently passed on. She takes that first draft, reworks it, and passes it off as her work. And it's this pretty great expose of the publishing world as it stands right now. RF Kuang is like a little brilliant woman and I love her a lot. Even though no, I still haven't read The Poppy War, get off my back guys, don't even comment on it, okay? I'm getting there. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I read, I started it on the bus and I'm already 25% of the way through. I'm definitely finishing it tonight and then um, I'm going to watch Silo with Kurt because that's our Friday night thing. That's it. That's my update. Um, I have a wedding tomorrow, so I'll see you there and okay. Okay. <laughs>you can ignore the ever-present construction in this part of town. It was not this loud a second ago. Okay, so <laughs> regardless of what's going on in the world right here, this construction truck is trying to parallel park. Sorry, he knows I'm watching him. I'm so sorry, sir. Anyway, it's literally the most beautiful weather in the world outside right now. I can't explain to you how perfect this feels. So yeah, I just came outside. Kurt is still asleep. It's kind of early in the morning and I didn't want to like wake him up with lights. So I um, came out here to read outside and it's beautiful. And um, I have a wedding. My friend is getting married. She picked the most beautiful day. So um, I'm going to head over there and hopefully like I know her through um, travel work. So hopefully I get to see some of my friends who I haven't traveled with in a long time. Um, and yeah, it's just literally the most beautiful day. And I don't know why the jackhammer started the second I turned on my camera, but it was quiet before, I swear. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I'm gonna continue reading. See you. like father and mother of the bride, father and mother of the groom, sisters, brothers, everyone stood up and spoke and everybody like could not finish what they were saying because they just got choked up. Everyone was sobbing. It was rough out there, <laughs> but gorgeous. So congrats, Sung Young, Sumin. Um, through you guys, I met so many great people. You guys have seen Sung Young on this channel so many times. Um, I love her so much. We are heading to, we were gonna head home, but now I think we're gonna get a drink somewhere. I don't know, we're kind of like, we're dressed up, we're already out, so. <laughs>
Hello everyone. Um, happy Monday. It is toasty, but very, very nice. Here's a little PSA. Part of me really wants to gatekeep, even though I've shared this place before. There is a location of Dotori, which is a really nice bakery, right in between, right in between, Onion and London Bagel Museum both of which are incredibly crowded. It is Monday, I walked by at nine and then 10. Lines out the door, huge wait. And the pastries are just like, okay. But Dotori, it's only negative is that they play the music way too loud. But other than that, it's just like, the food is really good. It's never crowded. There's a gorgeous garden. Like, please, if you want to go to a bakery in Anguk, that opens early in the morning. You can skip, especially London Bagel Museum, skip it. I, I like wanted to tell people who are waiting in line. I was like, right around the corner, there's a really good bakery. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my that's my PSA of the day. Go to Dotori um, and I'm heading to MMCA. Um, I'm gonna hit the museum. I'm gonna go see Ariel, or Ariel, please, The Little Mermaid. I'm gonna go see The Little Mermaid um, a little bit later today. So yeah, it's getting sticky. It was really nice this morning, but it's a little, um, little summary, so we're going inside, okay? <laughs> Okay, twas a battle, but I got my Subway sandwich. Um, I was gonna just go straight to Coex because that's, whoa. I was gonna just go straight to Coex because that's where I'm seeing the movie, but it's a weird amount of time and I wanna take a nap. I ended up splurging and I did actually buy this book that I told myself was too expensive, but I'm happy with it and it's a wonderful coffee table book and I'm gonna look at it a lot. So what did I get? Old photos of Seoul, like mostly the 60s, um, but it, also, it has like every location listed. So it's just really cool to see. Like this is at Duxu Palace where I took my parents to drink tea and this is it in the 1957. So I'm happy with it, it's a big old book. Um, so I'm glad, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to catch you guys, um, when we head to Coex because I need to eat and I need to nap. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What the heck, that was the cutest thing ever. So I'm waiting here. I'm meeting Kurt for dinner on Karosagil. He's gonna be here any second on his bicycle. That's why I'm talking quickly. But the, these two guys, like I think they saw me and I saw that they saw me and then they kind of moved. Like I thought that they just didn't want to be in my shot. So I like moved and then they came up and they were like, are you Carrie? My mom really likes your videos. <laughs> so thanks for saying hi. That was very cute. Now I have to probably stop this because Kurt's probably gonna call me and I never answer my phone. So I'm gonna surprise him and I'm gonna answer my phone for once, okay? And stop crouching around 
like a weird person, okay? So I don't know what we're gonna eat, but I'm really hungry and Ariel was cute. It's difficult to make a live action when most of the cast members are fish. I had fun singing along. Um, and did Eric have a song in the animated one? I don't think so. And it was like super emo, especially because it looked like he had so much eyeliner on the whole film and it really bothered me. But yeah, like it's even just the notes that he was hitting, it was very like emo king. But I'm still lost at sea in these wild uncharted waters come find me. It was a vibe, but anyway, I have to go find Kurt. So I will see you later. Bye. Oh no, so hello everyone. So I kind of as usual had bigger plans for this week and this video and everything. I actually got a bit of an injury yesterday. Um, so I can't really walk. I can't use my right leg. That put a little bit of a damper on my plans. So I think I'm going to kind of end the video unceremoniously here. Um, but just a check-in of what's going on in my life. Yeah that monster of a thing is on my wall again um i'm doing another plot summary video for my book channel if you go way back if you can if you were even alive to the mortal instruments the city of bones the shadow hunter world um yeah i'm doing a plot summary for those books because people need to know the story but you don't need to read the books so that's what i'm gonna start working on today because again i can't <laughs> walk and what else we're entering our rainy season sort of i don't want to jinx it but like it just is cloudy there hasn't been actual rain yet so fingers crossed um and also something exciting for my book channel and then a little bit for this channel i've talked about this a lot and a lot of you guys have given your opinions and i have thought it over for years. As you guys might know, this channel and my book channel, everything I do is me. I don't have any kind of management or editor or anything. It is me. <laughs> All me. Um, but that has been really difficult lately and I've talked to a lot of my friends and I've decided to join a management team and I'm I signed the contract last night. We've been in talks a lot of people I know and love and trust are a part of this management um, So I'm really really excited. So that's what I'm doing this morning is I'm kind of getting that set up Yeah, so I don't think you'll really see any changes especially on this channel, but maybe on my book channel you might I'm just excited to see how this changes what I can do with my content because I just don't have time um, when I first met with this group they sort of asked me like you know what are your plans for the future like do you have any dreams of like growing your content or changing your content and i was sort of like in the beginning i had these big ideas but when reality sunk in and you're juggling two channels and trying to keep up consistency with two weekly posts it's difficult to sit back and think of a bigger project that might take more time um, and instead do the kind of realistic content that you can do in the amount of time that you're given so i feel like this is going to not only give me a little bit more time in terms of i don't have to answer emails anymore um but it will also give me somebody that i can talk to bounce ideas off of and stuff like that so yeah, I'm just overall excited and I hope that you guys will see, you guys will benefit from it soon. And yeah, that's that's literally all that's um going on in my life right now. I'm next week meeting up with a few more friends. I think we're going to do some outside of soul stuff. Actually, Kurt and I at the end of this month we booked a staycation um that I'm really excited about, so we're doing that. Yeah, there's like good things in the future, like really good things. And I'm in a good place. I'm excited for it to start and excited for, yeah, just everything. So I just started the Iceland trip group chat. It's feeling real. Yeah, I'm just, the future looks bright and I'm happy about it. I will catch you guys later. Thank you as always to Squarespace 
for sponsoring this video, info down below, but you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. And yeah, I'm gonna go get coffee, put clothes on, and talk about demon hunting in New York City for many, many hours. <sighs> So I love my job. <laughs> um, I will catch you all later and um, hope you're doing well. Hope everything's working out for you and see you next time. Ne I don't know, again, did the flight video come out yet? If it didn't, it's coming out next weekend. If it did, I don't know what's coming out next weekend. So um, I'll see you then. Regardless, bye, love always, see ya. <laughs>